With just two days after the Christmas holiday, health leaders in the South Bay are voicing their concerns about what could happen in the next few weeks. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau reports from San Jose. Today here at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds, hundreds of people got tested for COVID, but county health leaders say even if you are tested, it's not a passport to travel. Hospitals in Santa Clara County remain overwhelmed as COVID patients fill up intensive care units. Tonight, there are just 25 ICU beds in the entire county of 2 million people, leaving hospitals to strategize how to care for patients. Every morning, hospitals are huddling with each other, trying to distribute patients in a way to ensure that everyone gets the best quality care. Uh, we are clearly stretching, we are clearly stretched, and we are very concerned about the effects of Christmas and the New Year's holiday on our health care system. With an increase in patients, Kaiser Permanente has postponed elective and non-urgent surgeries at all of its Northern California facilities through January 4th. Sutter Health is also postponing some elective surgeries. Emergency rooms are also stretched thin. Today, county health leaders urge people wanting a COVID test to steer clear of emergency departments and instead visit COVID testing sites like this one at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds. Dr. Ahmad Kamal, Santa Clara County's Director of Health Care Preparedness, says 40% of people who have COVID are asymptomatic. So it's important for everyone, not just those with symptoms, to avoid travel and getting together with people outside of their household. Given that people have been traveling, people that have, given that there have been gatherings, we remain very concerned about the surge on top of a surge. Thanksgiving was pretty much all we can take. Which is why he's urging people to cancel New Year's Eve plans because he says the county simply cannot afford Afford to have any more cases of COVID. In San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.